Okay, so today we're going to print checks and our first step of course is to go to banking. Write check, then we make sure we're in the right, uh, right bank account. Then you come over to the other side of the check and make sure that the to be, to be printed is checked. And the check number will say to print. You put in your correct date. Then we come over to pay to the order of with an amount. Then we save and print. A printer with, uh, with QuickBooks Online for the first time you want to go to show instructions and here the, the instructions are hidden but if if you click on the show instruction line item it will open up the instructions we will go down to uh, make sure that uh, checks require Adobe Reader version 8 or higher then we load blank paper into our printer before you print out a piece of paper let's make a um, fake check so we can uh, see the orientation of the paper to the printer so we'll start with uh, with a dollar sign here and a date line, pay to the order line, and a signature line. Incidentally, we're going to call this the face of the of the check. This is going to be the head. The top we're going to call the head. The bottom we're going to call the feet. So I know that my particular printer is face down, feet first. Our alignment is consistent with our printer and we can see it printed out properly so now we're going to write on the check the alignment which is face down uh, feet first and set it aside for future use for future reference. Uh, normally default to voucher checks was Typically, that's what you'll be using for your check stop. And then let's go down to number four, print sample. Now here we have a sample check with an alignment grid. And you'll notice that there are a bunch of squares here in, in the grid. Each square represents 10 spaces. And we'll use that to align the check left or right or up or down. Once we're uh, once we're ready to print, we, we go to our print symbol, click on print, make sure that our fit to page uh, is unticked, then we hit print. You'll notice that the check in fact is printing out. Now taking a look at the alignment grid, what we need to do is uh, match this to a check and put it up to a light source. And when you put it up to a light source, uh, you'll you'll take note of where the uh, where the dollar sign is in relationship to the number. Click on finish, and then uh, we come down to number six, where we actually align the the print uh, to to the check, and uh, using vertical and horizontal controls, we can move the check print up or down, left or right. If we have to move the uh, check up uh, one box, it would be the equivalent of 10 spaces. There we go. And we check the orientation again. And we, we keep repeating the same, same process until you're satisfied that the alignment of the print uh, on the check is satisfactory. And then you, you go and print your, your uh, real check. Uh, making sure if you have multiple checks in your screen you either select all of them or one of them and then you go back to print and now instead of your your uh, fake vendor you now have your real vendor to make sure that you know the amount in the vendor the date is okay you get one last chance to review that uh, so uh, we check uh, one last time our orientation sheet again face down feet first so we put our check face down, feet first. And making sure that your fit uh, to page is unticked. Print. And as you can see, a perfectly aligned check.